What's up guys? I'm your real Soto and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to shrink your logo when you scroll down your website. And it's going to be looking just like this. As you can tell whenever I scroll down it shrinks. And it's actually a pretty cool feature in my opinion. And it works very well on tablet and mobile. So let me go ahead and show you guys how this looks on tablet. So on tablet it it shrinks as well. I don't want it to shrink that much but it does shrink but you'll notice on mobile and you can kind of set that up how you want to shrink it um, on mobile it actually shrinks really really well so I mean you guys can shrink it to pretty much whatever size you guys want so if you guys want to learn how to do that go ahead and stick around so let's begin now the first thing that we need to do is download a plugin so head over to your dashboard go into plugins go ahead and click on add new and then just type in sticky Better Elementor. And go ahead and install this plugin here. And then activate it. Now go into your header. Now I am using Elementor Pro, but you but you can also do this if you're using um, Elementor header header footer builder. Um, that's a plugin that you can also grab, and then there's also Elements Kit, I think allows you to create your own header. Um, but for the purpose of this video, I am using the pro version, but um, it should be the same thing whether you, you're using the free, um, those other plugins that allow you to create headers. So from here, go ahead and click on your um, header section and basically the section that you want to have the sticky header um, and where you want your logo to shrink. So go to advance and then go to sticky header and make sure this is already enabled. Now. If you're already using some sort of sticky header, um, I would suggest disabling that and then just using this sticky header instead. So from here, I'm going to go ahead and save this and we can go ahead and view this. And we can go ahead and see that now we have a sticky header, but our logo isn't shrinking. And that's kind of the main um, point of this video. So what we need to do is go in back, go back to your header and make sure you click on your header section here. And then make sure you're on sticky header effects. And under here, you'll see a, a portion where it says logo. Go ahead and enable that. And then now, um, if we were to update this, you would probably notice it still wouldn't shrink. And you might have that issue. Now, the reason being is that you need to make sure that the pixels on this um, size here is smaller than, than what is already on your logo. So let's say my logo right now is about... Um, 222 well it's not really gonna shrink if it's already set to that to 222 or if it's set to already um, 200 it's not gonna shrink because it's it's either the exact same size or it's or it's actually um, or it's actually are uh, already um, smaller than, than this size right here because if it's not if it's smaller it's not gonna get bigger when people shrink that's not how it works it needs to get smaller right so we need to make sure that um, the sizing of this is smaller than than what our logo size is. So what you need to do is just shrink this down a bit. Now you will notice it will kind of um, load up there, but it's not gonna. It's, you're not really gonna notice this shrink at all. So if I were to go to 162, it probably isn't gonna shrink yet. Um, so I need to go ahead and set it below 100. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this to like 72. Now, you notice it's gonna shrink, so that's perfect. Now my logo shrinks, and my menu shrinks as well, so it looks really good. Now, if you are having issues where your menu, your header isn't shrinking, it's because something is in the way. Now let's say that your um, section here, your menu nav here, is um, the, the vertical padding is already is about the same size as your logo. Now, you basically can't have any anything the same height as your logo. Because if you were to see, if I were to now go down, my logo would shrink, but my menu doesn't, my uh, header overall doesn't shrink. And that's because my um, nav menu here, the height of it is the same size as my logo. Now you definitely don't want that. So I'm gonna definitely remove this. And you don't want you don't want any 
any um any margins in here at all you want to make sure that your margins are always set to zero here and same thing on your cart here make sure they're set to zero because like i said um obviously this part except for your card depending on how you're sizing that let me actually go back because that part um doesn't really matter it's mainly your margin and it can be your padding just make sure that the top and bottom are set to zero um so yeah so i'm gonna now that that's said i'm gonna go ahead and click update and if i were to go to home now as you can tell it's shrinking Okay, so now we just got to make sure that the mobile is also set up as well. So let's go ahead and go to my tablet. And I mean, it's a little smaller. So let's let's see how it's set up on tablet already. So let's go ahead and click inspect. And let's go ahead and bring this down here to about this size. And it does shrink as well. So that's already all set up. But you are able to adjust that as well. So make sure you click on your header section. And as you can tell, it's already set to mobile. So you can set the sizing. So let's say I want it to also go to um, 60 on mobile. And then on tablet, it should also, on tablet, it's fine. It should also go to 60 as well. So now let me go ahead and go to my home page here. Now, if I were to adjust this, as you can tell it shrinks now perfectly. Now let me go ahead and show you guys how this looks like on a um, on an incognito page. So let me grab this link here and go to incognito. And there we go. That's working perfectly. Now let's just view this on mobile. So on tablet, it shrinks. It shrinks pretty good, to be my opinion. I don't want it to shrink that much. And then let's go to um, actually this one is more of that. Oh, there we go. As you can tell, there's a big difference there. It shrinks really well. So that's pretty much it for this this video. Actually, it's a pretty cool feature, so I hope you guys did honestly like it. Um, but yeah, that's it for this video. If you guys did enjoy this video and it did help you guys out, um, please consider liking the video and subscribing. It'll definitely help out the channel out a lot. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.